Oh, here we go. Quiet, if you. All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio? It's terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is what I tell you, Finn. Something must be done. Radio is bad for business. Makes customers unhappy. Either we have unhappy customers listening to bad DJ, or we have no music and customers have boredom. Vadim! It's true! Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. And oh, that's enough. Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we were just joking around a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. So, are you actually trying to do something about it? I tell you, Thiem, that I have plan. He does not believe me. You, you and I work on plan. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. You there. We need to have a conversation. Hi there. You can order drinks and food here or at the bar. I'm gonna grab a quick drink. Hey, Vadim, how you been doing? Maybe I should Preston, just. Preston, my friend. Long time no see. Sleep every night I've been worried about you. The stories, you know. Yeah, it was rough there for a while, you but things are looking up again. Fantastic news. Please take a load off. Insane. Relax and have drink. You don't have to ask me twice. Okay. Let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? Haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. Excellent! Because you are going to help Travis win his first fight. Ah. I want to stage fight here in Dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a dive for months. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. <clears throat> You'll find I'm very persistent. Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. 
You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming.